we plead with you not to receive the grace of God in vain. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 1 The grace you had yesterday will not be sufficient for today. Grace is the overflowing favor of God and you can always count on it being available to draw upon as needed. In much patience, in tribulations, in needs, in distresses, that is where our patience is tested. Are you failing to rely on the grace of God there? Are you saying to yourself, Oh well, I won't count this time. It is not a question of praying and asking God to help you. It is taking the grace of God now. We tend to make prayer the preparation for our service. Yet, it is never that in the Bible. Prayer is the practice of drawing on the grace of God. Do not say, I will endure this until I can get away and pray. Pray now. Draw on the grace of God in your moment of need. Prayer is the most normal and useful thing. It is not simply a reflex action of your devotion to God. We are very slow to learn to draw on God's grace through prayer. In stripes, in imprisonment, in tumult, in labors, in all these things, Display in your life a drawing on the grace of God, which will show evidence to yourself and to others that you are a miracle of His. Draw on His grace now, not later. The primary word in the spiritual vocabulary is now. Let circumstances take you where they will, but keep drawing on the grace of God in whatever condition you may find yourself. One of the greatest proofs that you are drawing on the grace of God is that you can be totally humiliated before others without displaying even the slightest trace of anything but His grace. Having nothing, never hold anything in reserve. Pour yourself out, giving the best that you have, and always be poor. Never be diplomatic and careful with the treasure God gives you. And yet, possessing all things. This is poverty triumphant.